So the owners of the house decided it'd be funny to put in this pair of holographic eyes that watch you the whole time you're in the bathroom. Uh, this was creepy at first, but wore off eventually since they're just static eyes. So I decided to make something much more creepy and hopefully more lasting. It is a floating head that tracks where your eyes are and looks straight back at you no matter where you move. Let's take a look at how this works. So you're probably watching this on a 2D screen, like I am, and as you move your head left and right, the screen does not change. The image does not change, even though your head has changed the angle at which it is looking in on the image. Now contrast this with a 3D object, which does change what view it gives you when you move your head around it. Now wouldn't it be cool if you could display a 3D object on a 2D screen? Existing systems for this just look like prisms, or they involve like a plasma laser and several thousand dollars. But what if you could do it with just your webcam? Uh, that was my idea when I started this project. All you have to do is take a video, slowly rotating around a 3D object, then input the video into the program, and it will give you a slice of the video from the angle that you should be at. Making some assumptions about where the user's head is in relation to the webcam, we can use this to calculate the angle of the video that we should be showing the user, depending on where their head is. At first I thought this could be useful for looking at 3D drawings or CAD drawings, um, but I was taking a video of them when I realized that you could just take the model file and then put it in like a 3D viewer of some kind. Uh, this gives you all three degrees of, or sorry, all three rotations of tracking, uh, up, down, left, right, in and out, uh, as opposed to just the strict X, Y of the video. This is also cool as a way of showing more information about an object. For instance, it's usually impossible to see more than three sides of a cube at a time on a screen or a picture. Um, and with this modality, it's like very easy. You just move your head around and it'll rotate the cube for you. This technology has been done before previously, uh, most notably, I think in 2007, when Johnny Chung Lee put a video of modifying a Wii remote to do this for him. As noted by Johnny, this is limited by the fact that you can only track one head at a time, since the TV can only show one image at a time. It's not a true hologram, but it is useful for one person. His approach also uses additional hardware, like this headset with two IR LEDs on it. Well, this approach just requires a webcam. This could be used for showing 3D models in a browser, as mentioned before, since browsers can do head tracking. Or alternatively, can be used for hiding information in web pages on 3D objects. However, I still think the best use case is for just creeping out people in your bathroom. All the code for this project is linked in my GitHub below. It's a pretty simple idea, really. All you have to do is find where the head is, and then calculate the angle. So by the assumptions, we already know where approximately the head is. Um, and by using heart cascades, we can find where the face is. All I'm doing is taking a webcam photo, scaling it down some, and then running the heart cascade on it, uh, which is just a very simple binary way of determining where someone's face is. After that, you just do some trig, and then slice into a video file, or alternatively, rotate a model around. One issue with this is, if you get close to the computer, your brain stops believing that it's a 3D object. So it works really well through a camera, since there's only one sensor, or if you cover one eye, it works pretty well. That's all, see you soon.